See, the nice thing about Aftershock is that you just one-shot literally everything. If you hit Q3, it's over for him. Your W does 400 damage nuke, and then you just press R instead. The only thing I have to look out for is uh, making sure his phase rush is on cooldown. So the second he walks up without phase rush, and I have my Q3 active, it's over for him. Yeah, we're literally just going to rush after Jacques show here. I'm not even going to bother going hey neck or and all that nonsense. I am going to one-shot the fuck out of this guy. I think Jacques show is also just... Even though Rise is like strictly magic resist or magic damage, his jungler is AD. So Jacques show does give a little bit of value there. I just got here. Is Aftershock always good or situational? Uh, I would. It's definitely situational. If you pick Aftershock into a tank, it's not going to go well for you. At least from my experience, I went Aftershock into an ore and I just got slammed. It definitely, you need to know when to go grasp. Oh, you're right. Abyssal Mask does look really nice here. Did I take Aftershock and Aram? Uh... Honestly, yeah. I would. Already see me starting to one shot on level two. Half his health bar with a Q3 plus W. It's just. It's so stupid. If the enemy missteps once, it's just over for them. Which is why you should just respect Cassante Q3 like a million times more. I know spell buff. Uh, I'm starting to go Aftershock more. After the W resist buffs, I think. Aftershock outperforms spell book. You're running out of mana, buddy. I want to get one more wave. Is this cannon? No. I want to back on Mantle, Ruby, Crystal, or m honestly, even just Mantle Boots. Mantle, Ruby, Crystal would be best case scenario. So I need to hit every single minion here. My jungle is nearby. My jungle is nearby. I just don't know where Kane is. I can honestly just even back for a cloak. I can kill this guy so easily. Or at least go flash. Oh, I'm just leaving. Okay. Just kidding. Yeah, I guess he does a flash and phase rush up, so... It's not the most, uh... Consistent play of the game for Rise. really greedy here. I'm gonna go for Cloak Ruby Crystal. I can't shove this in time. 
recover. I do want to get 1,300. Yeah, 1,300 is insane here. Holy. I have such a good back. If I get this back off, it's crazy. Nice. What a good back. Holy. Very good buy. I think I... I think I Q3 plus W combo him, and then if he walks up again, I kill him. Um... I need save rush no point. Uh, if that cannon died earlier, maybe. But yeah, that's good. I, I chunked his health bar with uh, Q3 plus W. Now I kind of just wait for him to uh, walk up and I can one-shot him. Splash. Okay, dive him, dive him, dive him, dive him, dive him, dive him. Dive him. Oh, let's go. Nice. I'm being very lenient with my potions here. All right, now I have an option here. I can either go Chain Vest and get more Burst with my W and Q, or I can go Boots and Cloth Armor. How much does that make Shock Strode? So I need to get 1.4k gold. I feel like that's a bit much. I'm actually just going to go Chain Vest here. I, my goal is to get Jock Show as early as possible. He's... Look at his items, and then look at my items. It's just... Massively on this guy. And I just want to hold the wave here. Make him walk up so I can run him down. He doesn't have R. What's this guy? Oh, you suck. And you're dead. Yeah, I don't I don't even need to do the combo. The second he doesn't have phase rush, no flash, no R. He's just dead. It's gonna cost me a shock show back here. Oh, I'm 50 gold off from just backing with shock show here, but now I feel inclined to stay. Oh my god, I trolled. I trolled, bro. If I just hit that cannon. Testing my luck here. Oh, and I'm 70 gold off of... Getting boots! Oh, this sucks, man. Oh, come on, bro. I saw my biscuits. Do I sell three biscuits and wait for... No, I'm not doing that. That is a psychopathic move. I should have bought a control word, though. Dude, if I just hit that cannon, or... Oh, God. Unfortunately. Okay, rise no R, he went boots. Went tier two boots, okay. I still don't have boots, so that's actually kinda not good for me. Because he can space my ass. 
So I just need to make sure I play with my minion wave, and I have the extended gap closer, I should be fine. Oh uh, yeah, I'll just keep whittling this turret. Okay, I didn't walk out of range apparently. Q3 and then W, but it works. I'm very fed this game. Maybe you might, maybe you might, I don't know. Is that red cane? I can't even tell. Oh, there's a guy. <laughs> no, I'm trolling. I can't dodge shit. And that's why you bought. Dude, if I unironically, if I hit the cannon like three minutes ago and I get boots, I live. Oh, it feels so bad. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Your team has destroyed a turret. Um Yo, you know what'd be funny? You know what would be really funny is if I went Sundered Sky second. You know, why wait till third item when you can get it on your second item? <laughs> why wait for your power spikes when you can just rush your power spikes? You know what I'm saying? I also just TP top lane when Dragon is spawning. But it's fine because I want to get Sundered Sky. And if I get tier 2 tower here, I think I get it. I think I said third item is like the earliest you can build Sundered Sky, but fuck it, let's test even more. Watch this damage. Okay, never mind, I miss everything. Let's not kill him anyway. Okay, do not try this at home. Yeah, we are heavy limit testing by going Sundered Sky second here. I have literally not even finished my Q resist. Yeah. This is like the earliest I've ever built a AD, a non-resist item. Under the sky. My team is just rolling them. Hi, I'm Zach OTP, top diamond US player. But lately, I play a bit of Cassante. When should I use Grasp? Um, typically, Grasp is really nice into champions that so you can just walk up a lot. Like, if they're gonna walk up into you a lot, then I think Grasp is really nice. Hold on, what boost did I go? Um, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna go Gauntlet and call it a day. Oh, and they have that. Okay. Well, I couldn't even test Sundered Sky second. Um, yeah, I could probably win. I could have won anything there, to be honest. 
Mm. Uh, typically, Aftershock is nice in two matchups where you just burst them down. And you can't really apply Grasp onto them. And Grasp is nice in two where you can repeatedly proc it. And you know you can just walk up and take little to no threat or damage. 